guys, it's me, Miss Kuna, and today I'm doing my last mythical talk because I'm doing a new series for you guys, which I will be announcing on Friday. Yeah, and also, Happy New Year! I'm so excited to do this video where I rank all the movies I saw in 2017. So these movies I saw in the theaters, and I've only seen nine movies last year. And so I decided to rank them all from my favorite to my least favorite because I definitely know I had some good movies, I saw some good movies and some bad ones. And so here we go. I'm starting off with number nine, my least favorite movie had to be, sadly, Thor Ragnarok. I just didn't really care for the humor and it just, I kind of wanted to walk out, which was kind of sad because I love Marvel, but this movie just didn't really appeal to me. So. To all of you guys who liked it out there, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you could find joy in a movie that I didn't. Number eight had to be La La Land. I know I did a review on it saying I absolutely loved it, but I watched it again and I got super duper bored. I was just absolutely just sitting there for I think like two hours of my life being really bored because it, it wasn't as good as I remembered it. Even though I still love the music, I love I absolutely love the music in the in the movie. I really, really do. But just watching it over again, I just got kind of bored. Um, number seven was Justice League. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought I really enjoyed seeing the characters come together. Definitely Wonder Woman. I love the new Flash. I think he's amazing. And I know people don't really care for this movie, but I absolutely loved it. Um. I know it's so high up on my list, but that's just because, I mean, it's a good movie, I have to say. Uh, number six was Star Wars. This was a pretty decent movie. It wasn't bad, it wasn't good. I mean, I take that back. It wasn't bad, and it wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. And I just did a review on it, so if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, number five was the MLP movie. This one, it was cute. I mean, I would definitely watch it again if I was staying home from school and I wasn't feeling well or if I just wanted a cute little movie to watch if I was bored. Number four was Beauty and the Beast. I absolutely love the live action one and the animated one. The animated one, love it. But um, I definitely like the Beauty and the Beast. I love the new song Evermore. That song is still stuck into my in my head from March, I believe it came out. And I'm still, like, blown away. Um, number three was Guardians Volume 2. I absolutely loved this movie. I loved Gar the first Guardians, the second one, I really, really enjoyed. I loved the story that they told. I love it. I love that it was between Peter and his dad, and I really, really enjoyed that. I just really enjoyed it. Number two is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman perfection. That is, I have to say, in my opinion, was the best DCEU movie ever. Wonder Woman, she's just so empowering and I absolutely love her and I just loved watching her on screen. I loved her in Justice League and I can't wait to see more of her. I love the story. I love that she was like back in World War One and everything and I really enjoyed it. And then number one, if you couldn't guess it, was Spider-Man Homecoming. This is my, f Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man, no joke. This movie, I feel like, captured Spider-Man so perfectly. I mean, there are some flaws in the movie, which I know, but um, it was just my favorite, and I absolutely loved it, and I cannot get enough of that movie, to be completely honest, because Tom Holland is a really, really, really good actor. So... Yeah guys, thanks for watching, um, I can't wait to announce my new series for you guys, I'm really excited for this one and I think it will be better than my mythical talks because I feel like it has a more grounded, centered idea for it. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, happy new year, and I can't wait to see what this year brings. So yeah guys, bye!